Hey guys, I'm Coach Corral. Today we're going to talk about sacrifice bunting. Now sacrifice bunting, usually in a game situation, is something where both sides know it's coming. The offense knows that this is a bunt situation, they got to get something successful down, while the defense knows that there's runners that are potentially in scoring position and that a good bunt is going to help them to get the runners over. So both sides usually know. Now in uh, most cases what we want to do is we want to square as early as possible in order to make sure to set our angles either down the first or the third baseline so that we ensure ourselves of properly being in position to put down a good bunt. Now there's a lot of different ways to bunt. I'm going to show you my favorite way, but there's a lot of coaches that teach a couple different ideas and I'll show them both to you. And I'll also show you the one that I fancy the most because I, I feel that uh, it's probably one of the most successful ways to bunt the ball. Here we go with Bunny. Okay guys, now that it's time to get in our stance, let's talk about our stance. There's a couple different ways that coaches like to teach. One is to square the body entirely to the pitcher and get into an athletic position here, okay? Other coaches like to teach the pivot method, which just involves turning your feet inside the batter's box and to be ready in this position. Okay. My favorite is a little combination between the two. What I like to do here is I like to open my body up a little bit so that I stay athletic with most of my body potent pointing towards the hitting area. Okay. The other thing I like to do is open up uh, just enough and in this situation as I'm opening up in this position here I can get my foot as close to the back of the line in the batter's box as possible so I can cover the outside part of the plate. Now if I square I'm bringing my hands too far across here to really be able to control this side or the other, number one. And secondly, I'm in a really bad position. If the pitcher wants to throw inside, I can't get back and uh, be mobile enough to get out of the way of certain pitches, which sometimes you do want to get hit by the pitch. But for younger, uh, for younger players, they'll get, you know, <laughs> it'll hurt. <laughs> so anyways, you want to stay mobile. The other reason I don't want to teach the pivot position, I don't like my feet close together like this in a straight line, now I don't have movement laterally side to side. I can go up and down, I could reach out, but I don't have balance either way, either this way or this way, and I may fall over uh, once I do get the bunt down. So what I like to do is a little marriage between the two where I open up just slightly, my back foot gets close to the back line, which gets me closer to the plate. Now I have my hips, my shoulders, everything pointed down first base, so once I do get my bunt down, I can take off. I got good positive motion towards the base that I'm running to. Uh, again, I can get as close to the plate as I want, but I'm still uh, lateral. I'm still, I still got a wide enough base where I can stay mobile. I can stay balanced. I won't fall to one side or the other. I can bend my knees up and down and get a good bunt down.